Chris Jones, represent for Seeks of Greatness. As you see, man, I'm going to give a shout out to my people at Gymshark, man. They always keep your boy whole ready, man. All right, how do you think I look? I look all right? Yeah, you look sexy. Do I like I'm about to fuck some shit up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You better look like Okay, that's what I like to see. <laughs> now, look, you like to hear? I'm going to give y'all my um, show upper chest and shoulder routine. Um, this routine is real good for that V taper, man. It's really gonna help with that shoulder to waist ratio. If your upper chest is lagging, your V taper is lagging, you may want to incorporate some upper chest and lat routines and some upper chest and delt routines, okay? If anybody ever got my training plans, you may have noticed I got chest and upper back together and maybe have chest and lats together. That's really gonna help with your V taper as well. I might do some new routines real soon and share them on my Beast Mode Training Camp channel. So be sure to subscribe to that if you haven't. Might do a V Taper Split uh, series or some shit like that. Alright. So let me show you what I'm using to power up with, man. Got some at Pre OG. Be sure to get you about 30 of them bitches. About to put this in my water bottle right here. And I'm going to sip it in the car on the way to the gym. Been a long day, so I'm going with a whole scoop. Then, I got some of those BCAs that make those lesbians go both ways. And we got our own BCAs coming out real soon. So be looking out for that. I want y'all to try to guess the flavor. Comment below. What do you think the flavor is going to be? I think it's going to be watermelon. No. <laughs> and uh, got a scoop of uh, Mark Lowblotter's uh, Machine Fuel BCAs. I like the taste a lot. Put a scoop of that in this bitch. It's going to be great, huh? Nope, you're wrong again. See, you fuck it up. Strawberry. I'll give you a, give you a, a hint. It's a Jolly Ranger flavor. Jo One strawberry. of my favorite Jolly Rangers. Oh, green apple. I'm not going to tell you, God damn it. I already told you. Got to guess. Leave me alone now. I'm guessing. Don't fuck with me now. <laughs> and that's it. I got my bottle ready. I was going to have Sandra train with me, but she's at the fucking mall. <laughs> and um, she, she wanted to wait till later on tonight. I didn't really feel like waiting that late. I want to get in and out of the Show them what time it is. It is 5 o'clock. It's Saturday night. Not trying to be in the gym at like 9 o'clock at night on Saturday. I'm, we're trying to go to dinner tonight. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to get my workout over with so we can go to dinner. So anyway, see you at the gym. All right, homies and homies. We over here at the gym. About to warm up my chest real quick. As you may or may not know, I'm not a strong presser. I can pull like a motherfucker. I can squat like a motherfucker. But when it comes to pressing motions, it's not very strong, man. I got small joints. And Janek is not a strong guy. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't make gains. If you're not a naturally strong guy, you can still make gains. Just got to practice intensity principles. One of the intensity principles I like to use is I want, I like to go to failure pretty much the majority of my workout. Secondly, I pre-exhaust before I start working my chest. So before I begin with chest, I'll pre-exhaust with some flies. Before I begin shoulders, I'll pre-exhaust with some raises, you know, to kind of give me that advantage. So anyway, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and capture the magic. Shoulders and upper chest routine. Let's do it. Let me get my music playing. Alright homies and home mats, so as you see, jumping it off with some flies to warm up my chest, get my mind muscle connection going before I go fuck some shit up. This really helps you out with mind muscle connection. Once you get a good pump on your chest, you can really feel each rep when you're pressing. Like usually when I go to the gym and just start with bench press, I don't feel it with my I don't really feel it in my chest. But when I start with flies, I really feel each rep. So try that out if you haven't. Now, as you see, I'm starting off with the hammer strength chest press. I wanted to start off with the barbell bench, but some hippie motherfucker at the gym was doing fucking supersets. He would do incline bench, and he'll superset it with flat bench. Fuck this guy, man. Yeah. Ah. Come on. Push it. See myself doing nothing else, man. 
started uh, with the pyramid. Started with one plate, did like 20 reps, and I just kept adding plates until I got to four plates for a hard set of five. And after I did that hard set of five, I dropped it down to two plates, and I went ahead and ripped it out for like 15 to 20 reps to keep that pump going. Really trying to keep my pump going throughout my whole workout. Then, decided to do incline bench when the asshole finally got off the bench. And I pyramided this as well. I started with one plate for about 20 reps. Did a plate in a quarter for about 15, if I remember correctly. Then I did two plates for a set of 10. And then after I did my two plates for a set of 10, I decided to go ahead and jump straight into two plates in a quarter, which is 275 for some heavy set. Just to get one heavy set. Gotta show them big girls a little loving, baby. Paying your respects to the big girls at least once, man. Even on my light days, I always make sure I get me at least one heavy ass set, man. That's how you get big, goddammit. Even if you're not that strong, go as heavy as you can. I've, I've told you many times, you ain't gotta be the strongest guy in the gym to have the best body in the gym. Trust me. Yeah! Very closely. Now, I usually get this shit for about four, sometimes five reps. But since I started off with the hammer strength, I was a little weaker than usual. But I did not accept defeat. What I did was a rest pause set. I did two reps. Then I took like a 30 second break to get my mind back right. I probably should have waited a minute. And then I got right back on it and got the two reps that I owed. So that made four reps in all. Like I said, I usually do this about four to five times, but the hammer strength press with the drop set at the end kind of wore me the fuck out. But it's all good. It's not all about fucking PRs and shit. It's about that fucking intensity, making those muscles hurt, pushing it to the limit. Then I said, fuck it. Let me go ahead and get a drop set with two plates. Rep that bitch out for about four or five reps, if I remember correctly. And I didn't stop there. As soon as I put the weight back, I said, fuck it. Let me go ahead and get one plate for a nice set of 15 to really pump the shit out of that upper chest. This is why my upper chest is so well developed. I start with upper chest first on my chest days. And from time to time, I'll do upper chest and delt days. All right? But anyway, so now we're on the incline dumbbell flies. Just to go ahead and finish off the chest properly with a nice isolation movement. As you see, no swinging, no jerking, letting the chest do all the working. You do not want to use sloppy forms on dumbbell flies. You will snap the fuck out of your shoulders. Just use controlled, nice, smooth form. Make sweet, sweet love on isolation movements. You can pound and fuck the shit out of those compounds, but when you're doing isolations, Make sweet love or you will fuck yourself up. Now, I'm doing face pulls. As you saw in the last clip, I did some uh, real duck flies with the machine. And then I did some face pulls for real ducks as well. I always start with real ducks because those are real weak for me. And I hate working them. So I decided to go ahead and get them over with first. Then, some side lateral raises with the cable. All right, homies and home next. The next exercise I'm about to do is the behind the neck shoulder presses. Now I already know some hippie motherfuckers gonna be like, oh no, you're gonna hurt your shoulder. Shut the fuck up, okay? You can hurt your shoulder doing any shoulder exercise. The shoulder rotates 360 degrees, so that leaves you very vulnerable for shoulder injuries. If you do this exercise properly, you won't fuck your shit up. No swinging, no jerking, let the shoulders do all the working. Now, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But to say this is a dangerous exercise, that is very ignorant. Like I said, you can hurt your shoulder doing side lateral raises if your form is fucked up. So keep your hippie comments to yourself. <laughs> One of the reasons why I really enjoy doing behind the neck presses is because when you do it to the front, a lot of people don't realize your upper chest can help you. If you notice, you're gonna be a lot stronger from the front than you are to the back because you're taking that upper chest out of the equation. And as you notice, my upper chest is pretty strong. 
All right, if a muscle is lagging, you really want to go with the exercises that really isolate it the best with the least help as possible. You got lagging fucking biceps? Do preacher curls, simple shit. But anyway, this right here, I made this up myself. This is called the ISO 8. What you do is get some dumbbells, and every time you come up, you stop for two seconds before coming down. That's why it's called the ISO, isometric. Come up, hold it for two seconds, then come down. As you see, you cannot go very heavy with this exercise, but trust me, you're going to fucking feel it. If you've never tried this before, I want you to go try this immediately. All right, homies and homies, man. As you see, just got done fucking shit up. Not going to take you out to the post-workout meal because I'm about to go home, shower, and all that shit. Like I said before, we're going to dinner tonight, so I'm not going to your typical Chipotle, Denny's. Probably gonna go somewhere nice. Um, let me show you what I got post workout though. Just got me a little MTS whey and my pineapples for post workout. Put a little creatine and bile grow in this bitch. 5% and 20% links in description for those that happen to give a fuck. As you see, chest and delts are pumped like a motherfucker. You may notice that I didn't do any front raises. The reason for that is, like I said, I do, I do delts twice a week. On the first day, I do my front raises, but today, since I did a whole bunch of incline work, which works front delts, didn't see the need to do any front raises, okay? Well, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. More workout shit coming soon, more things coming. Got a lot of great things on the way. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to Beach Mode Training Camp if you want to see more Chris Jones and more tips. Got a lot of great things coming for you, a lot of great ideas. Anyway, let's probably go ahead and wrap this shit up. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, holla back at you.